hi guys welcome to my channel today i'll be showing how i made this gorgeous yellow dress my daughter is rocking she absolutely loves this gown please do well to subscribe to this channel like this video and turn on the bell icon so to make this dress i'm using this is the measurement i'm working with i'm sorry i'm always using i'm kind of using four years because that's my daughter's age so this is the measurement I'm working with. And I'm using two yards of um, lining. It's two yards of lining. One yard of tool. One yard of lace fabric. Two yards of shining satin fabric. But this satin is very light. So I might be using ST. So to start, I'm just going to cut the lining. I'm going to use the lining so I don't stain any of the fabric. You also be needing zipper. I have um um a pattern. I, I have pattern already, but for illustration purpose, I'm just going to cut it out as a, I'm going to draft it on the fabric. So first of all, you can see my fabric is already unfold into two. I'm going to put the fabric on fold into two and then you are going to roll your starting line. You know, assume this is my starting line. So now I'm going to measure the half length, which is nine inches, and I'll be adding one inch allowance. Next thing I'm going to insert the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 9.5. And I'm just going to put half of 9.5. Because we're cutting this is the front panel now and it's folded it to two. So 9.5, you're just going to put your tip here. Divide your put your tip here. This will give you the exact measurement you need. Don't need to start cracking your brain. And then you just mark it out on the shoulder. Then armhole depth is 5.5. You're going to drop down by 5.5. And that will be your chest line. So now you're going to rule out that chest line. If you like, you can come here to a mark 5.5 and just trace it out. See why it's good to mark on your lining so that you don't stain the main fabric. Now the you're going to look for the neck width which is 2.75 i'm using 2.75 and the neck depth i'm using is three inches i'm going to use 2.5 and then i'll just curve it and then for the shoulder slides i'm going to come half an inch down and slant it Now I'm going to find the midpoint here, which is 5 inches, and half of that is 2.5. Two I'm going to come in by half an inch. I'm going to connect this point to this point. And then now we'll insert our chest measurement, which is 23. So 23, we're going to divide 23 into 4 places. First of all, we'll divide into 2. So divide into 2. Now we're going to divide again into 2. This is just the easiest way. Now, on this point, you are going to mark it. This is your chest measurement. You mark it. Now, you're going to add one inch or one and a half inch seam allowance. Mark whatever you like. So, now I'm going to connect this point to this one. You just connect it. Or you can use your French curve if you have one. Next, we're going to go to the waist measurement, which is 22. Half is 11. Half of 11 is 5 and a half. I'm going to insert it here. And then we're going to add our seam allowance again. What did what did I take here? One one and a half. I'm gonna take the same here, and then you're going to join it down. Now this is for the front bodies. So you guys, I will go to add. We need to add half inch seam allowance around the neck. I'm going to add the half inch round. This is what you used to sew and turn out, and then on the shoulder. I'm going to mark off the front bodies for the back bodies it's almost the same thing it's just that we're not covering the the back we can just use the 
this one to trace out the the length the exact length we're using and you'll be adding um your zipper one inch for your zipper line you just mark one inch Now also for the back, okay now I just cut it out and I will use it to trace out the back, the shape of the back I'm using. And then for the armhole right here, you're going to curve it out, don't let it go inside. That, that half, half inch you took inside. So now, I'm adding yoke to the front, I want to use this um, lace fabric to do the yoke. So what I'm going to do, what I normally do, I'm just going to remove from the top. So I'm going to drop down with say four and a half, which is right here. And then because I'm actually making it like a sweetheart, let's see, four and a half. I'm going to deepen it with half inch here. So now I'm going to remove this part. And see, it's not exactly where I marked I'm following because this way I used to sew it. So now this part I've taken away. When I want to cut the lace, I'm going to add one inch. I'm going to add it just so that the length. If if I if I cut exactly this measurement and add it to it, the front bodies is going to jump. So if I want to cut it now. I'm going to add one inch to the upper part. That is the half inch which you have already added to the down part which you took from the upper part plus the half inch that you used to join the up to the down just so that the length will balance back to your exact nine inches. Remember we have already taken half inch from the up. Now when we want to cut this upper part we need to cut add extra one inch to it. Back. I'm giving the the back um a V and I'll just measure this is already two and a half. I say I want the back to get to four inches, four inches depth. So I'm just going to trace it. So now you're not going to throw this part away. This is the part you wish to cut the, the two. So now we're going to use this to cut the main fabric. Don't forget to give your middle a notch. Now we're going to cut the back. Around the back. I'll just use this pattern to cut out the ST. Because this fabric is too light. The ST is going to give it weight. So for the down, the length I'm working with is 15 inches. I'm just going to gather up, gather up um, the waist I'm working with. First of all, you consider the weight, the waist is 22. So if you want to gather your fabric, you have to double or triple it, depending on how bulky you want it to be and depending on the quantity of fabric you have. So now I'm going to check my fabric, how many I have. Just put my fabric into two which is the 15 inches so i'll make it 16 because i need same allowance and then once you mark your 16 inches like so i just go ahead and cut it out i'll just cut it out so i'm gonna have to cut it okay. so this is one side you can see the fabric is very light even if i gather it not going to be heavy 
So, I'll go ahead and cut out lining the lining, the second lining. I'm just going to cut out 16 inches. So now that we have cut out the lining, it's into two. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to cut out this net. So we are just going to mark six inches. So we mark six inches. Then we finish cutting the net. Look at this one. Or you can cut it like this, put on top of this one. Cut. So this net that we cut out, we're only going to just gather it up on top of the second lining. Just to give it a little bit of puffness. We'll just gather it. Like not on the end, but on top of it. Like you must give one inch, just so the net doesn't touch the child. So now I'm going to measure 16 inches. You know, I'm working with 15 inches plus one inch seam allowance. That is 16. I cut this one. I'm going to measure another one to make sure 16, or you can put that one on top. Or I just prefer to measure. So now we'll gather this up. This will be like the front, and the other one will be like the back. We're going to open it up. But if you don't want to open it up, you can join it here. That means the front is going to have joining. I don't want that, so I'm going to use here as the back. I'll open it up. And then I'm just going to notch it in the middle. Just so I know the middle of the front. I'm just going to give it a notch. And then this fabric that is remaining, this is what we have left. We're going to use this to cut the yoke. So now you're going to use that yoke to cut the neck. That yoke you took away from the lining. So when you are placing it, you're going to make sure that you'll be having excess for the extra inch, the half inch that you need. Just make sure you're having it. You're going to cut this one in two. So let me go ahead first and cut out the back. And for the back, you just put your fabric into two. It's exactly the same way. I'm going to put the back here. And then make sure you have that one extra inch excess. This one's going to be like, you're going to add it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it. So I am just hoping the fabric is enough for me. Because I'm supposed to double it. But if it's not enough to double it, I'm going to cut a plain two To sew the neck round and the armhole. Before I'm going to attach it to the bottom. So for the front, the net was not enough. I had to cut it separately. I'm going to join it in the middle. I'm going to join it in the middle and then I'll turn it out to the other one. So I'm going to join that one in the middle and then use this to turn it out so it's not even going to show. So as you can see, I'm going to have to sew the back. This is what I made. And I've turned it. So what you're going to do is that, you see this one now, I've already turned it, the back and the front together, and I give it a press. So if I want to join it now, and I already put the light um, ST on this one, if I want to do it now, I'm just going to put flip. Now this one is for here, so obviously, this one is like so, like so. And then normally this one is supposed to be inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it like so. And then 
I'm gonna put this on top. You can first of all go and stitch this one. You can decide to stitch it. You see, it didn't get to the end because the remaining space now, that remaining space, that's what you're going to use to turn this armhole I did here. So now you can stitch this one first. Like for the front, I've already stitched it, but I've not put the you can see I've not put the lining on it. So if you don't want to do that, you can do the two together. Just put this one on top of it and then stitch it to the end. When you are done stitching to the end. You're gonna push this one inside like so and then so it's not there you run the end and this way and this way and then when you're done you just flip it over and give it a press that way to stay and then for the front you can see i've already um, attached the um yoke to the body all i need to do now is i'll go over to the machine and then i'll run it after running it i'm going to notch this middle after sewing it you must notch that middle so that when you turn it it's going to lay flat so that's just it for the bodies so i've gone ahead to sew this one in the back it's in the back and the front so this is the back and this is the front you see like you can't see any joining so i'm going to join stitch it together at the shoulder and close the sides once i close the side and the shoulder then i will insert the zipper at the back i've also gone ahead to gather the first um lace the lace the main fabric and then i gather the first lining that is the first time so the lace should be on top of it so when you want to um, do gathers it's good if you gather your lining separate from your lace it makes it more bulky if you sew these two together and gather it together it won't be as full as if you gather them separately and so when you are gathering it you take note of the waist measurements so this is the first one and i've also done the other one this is the second lining and I, I just split the net on top, two steps. You can see it. This is two steps. So, I'm going to gather, I'm going to stitch them together now. After stitching them together, these three, I'll stitch the three together. Then, by then I would have been done attaching the shoulder and the um, side together so that I can attach it to this one so that you can join them together and then after doing that I still have one more lining the remaining lining I will use it to turn it after joining it together let me go ahead and stitch this three together I'll, gather, I'll join this three because they are already gathered so I'll join this three together so I'm gonna have to join the top you can see Top of the body, and then I also close the gathers. This is the bottom. So what I did is I closed the net place with the first lining. I closed the both of them together, and then I separated this one. They are not together, so I created a small opening. I might still open it a bit because you need to open it when you join the up to the down, so that the zip will come down and pass the child's waist easily so now i'm going to um join them together like so the up the bodies with the down i'm just going to start from here i'm not going to sew this one you can see they are separated i won't be sewing this other lining i will start with this one and then i make sure like i notch the middle of the gathers because i already notched the middle of the bodies and then i'm just going to Sew it round so we are almost done you can see i've attached it up to the bottom i've fixed the zipper and i actually use the skirt zipper because i'll just pull hook right here i'm gonna pull hook here and and you can see it's bulky already so it's just one step left if i had an overlock i won't go through this step because it's just bulky already now i want to cover here I don't want this piece to show so that's why i'm going to use this last lining i'll get the middle and um, mark it with the middle of the dress i'm just going to pleat 
and then so that it's going to cover here when I'm done sewing. Just gonna plait it around and stop at the zip line, close to the zip line. I'll stop there. I'll just do it around and run the bottom. So you can see I've gone ahead to use the lining to cover it like I just split it on it and I also run the bottom. So this is the back. So it just makes the inside more neat and still add a little bit of volume to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put tiny trimmings on the waistline here and um fix the the hook at the back neck and then the dress will be ready so adding the trimmings and the pearls was very fast like i fast forwarded this part but if you're really interested in seeing how i added the pearls and the trimmings you let me know so i can upload the video i have the video but i had to fast forward this part because making of the dress was already too long just leave me a comment leave it in the comment section if you are interested in this part so and also if you have any style any kid style that you would like me to do a tutorial on let me know if you like this video if you like this tutorial video give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family and then please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to grow my channel please subscribe to my channel if you already subscribed don't forget to turn on the bell icon the notification bell so anytime i upload a video you'll be the first to know please i'll see you guys in my next video bye